Welcome to the online platform Education Unlimited as we look at the subject Principles of Accounts. Today's presentation is entitled Introduction to the Balance Sheet. Remember, at any time you may like, share, and subscribe, and you may also leave a comment in the comment section. I hope that you enjoy today's video. As we look at the topic introduction to the balance sheet, we must first of all define the term balance sheet. So the balance sheet is a list of accounting balances at a particular time in the business entity. According to Wood and Sangster, 2005, page 9, the balance sheet shows the financial position of an organization at a point in time. Additionally, the balance sheet also called the statement of financial position and the trading and profit and loss account also called the income statement or called the final accounts. So in other words, these two accounting documents, the balance sheet and the trading and profit and loss account makes up the final accounts. As we look at this topic of introduction to the balance sheet, we must first define two terms, the order of permanence and the order of liquidity. So, fixed assets, also called non-current assets, are listed in the order of permanence by listing the most permanent assets first and the least permanent assets last. For example, Building will be listed before motor vehicle and fixtures will be listed after motor vehicle. And then the order of liquidity is the order that current assets are listed in in the balance sheet by listing the most illiquid, the term illiquid there meaning not easily converted into cash. We list those assets first and last we list the most liquid assets. For example, stock would be listed before cash at bank and cash at bank would be listed before cash in hand and so the term liquidity must be defined according to the website www.brex.com liquidity means that an asset has the characteristics of being easily securely and quickly exchanged for legal tender and so liquidity means how quick can these assets be converted into a legal tender for example stocks in the business if the business was to be closed or wound up we must sell the stock to get cash in hand we must also call on our debtors so that we must have cash in hand so these two accounting assets or liquid, illiquid assets that we must convert to liquid assets. Hence, we use this term liquidity. Liquidity. How liquid is your business? How liquid is your business is how much cash is there in the business or how much of those current assets that can be converted into cash into the very near future. So accountants, use the term liquidity how liquid is your business as we continue on the topic introduction to the balance sheet we look at this example that reads on february 1 2022 jay brown started business with a hundred thousand dollars cash in the bank and so this balance sheet is a vertical style balance sheet the first thing that we must note is that in any accounting document we must name the document so looking at the cursor the name of this document is J Brown balance sheet we must also put the date the date is put as at a particular time in the business, which 
is February 1, 2022. So this is a vertical style balance sheet. We're taking it very simple. Most balance sheets in the real world are more detailed than this one, but for teaching, but for educational purposes, we take it by using a very simple balance sheet here. Note, first of all, that we have the assets. Below the assets, we list current assets because cash at bank is a current asset. We put the $100,000 here cash in the bank, and below that, we put capital. These two are balance assets and capital. Looking back at the accounting equation, the accounting equation reads or says assets is equal to capital plus liabilities. In this example, there's no liability, so definitely assets must equal to capital. This is a vertical style balance sheet. Looking at the same question, this is a vertical style balance sheet, but done in another format. Again, we list the name of the accounting document, J. Brown, looking at the cursor, J. Brown, balance sheet as at February 1, 2022. Then we put the dollar sign here and we put the dollar sign here also. And then we look now at the accounts. The previous balance sheet showed one line. Now this one is a two column balance sheet where we place assets here. Below the assets, we put current assets which cash at bank is, and that's 100,000 on this side. Below the cash at bank, we put the capital. The capital is 100,000 on or below the other column. So these two sides balances. 100,000 cash at the bank, 100,000 capital. So this is a double column vertical style balance sheet. As a matter of fact, depending on the number of transactions or the number of accounts in a business entity, a balance sheet could have as much as three columns depending on the business entity. As we continue, looking at the same example, we now look at the horizontal style account balance sheet. However, this type of balance sheet is no longer used in the business or the real world. As a matter of fact, it is only used for educational or teaching purposes to show that one side of this document must balance to the other side. And so on this side, which is normally the debit side, having a list of the debit balances, there is asset, below asset, cash at bank, 100,000. And over on this side, we place capital, and capital is 100,000. The dollar sign here, the dollar sign here, the two lines below the 100,000 here and below this 100,000, showing that this account balances. So this is the horizontal style of the balance sheet, please note, this is no longer used in the business world, but it is only shown here for educational purposes, just to show that the balance sheet must balance. That's the reason why it is called a balance sheet. Continue. Example two, on February two, 2022, Brown bought motor vehicle paying $20,000 by check. First of all, we name the document. J. Brown balance sheet as at February 2, 2022. This is a vertical style balance sheet and it is also a double column balance sheet. Here we see a change in the assets. The 
hundred thousand that was in the bank, we took twenty thousand out of that to purchase a motor vehicle. And so the two assets would now read motor vehicle twenty thousand dollars, cash at bank eighty thousand dollars, but the capital will still be a hundred thousand dollars. Again, looking at the accounting equation, assets must equal to capital plus liability. However, in this example, there's no liability, so assets must equal to capital. So the balance sheet must balance. This again is a vertical style balance sheet. Very simple, very simple. We continue. Example three reads, on February 4, 2022, Brown bought fixtures and fittings paying by check $5,000. Again, we must first of all name the document. J. Brown balance sheet as at this date, February 4, 2022. This is a vertical style two column balance sheet, one column here and the other column here. This time we list the assets, motor vehicles remaining at $20,000, but now fixtures and fittings being $5,000 and the cash at bank now decreased to $75,000. All three gives us a total of $100,000. On this side, we place capital because although it is a vertical style balance sheet using the two column style, it shows how this document would balance. So capital is on this side, the total being 100,000. So this balance sheet is properly done. We continue. On February 10, Brown bought goods on credit from A. White for $10,000. Buying here on credit means that we owe A. White that $10,000. Buying goods mean that those are called stocks or inventory. And so, first of all, we name the document J. Brown balance sheet as at February 10, 2022. This is a vertical style two column balance sheet. And so on this side, we list assets. Note here for educational purposes, we just list assets. We do not separate the assets into current assets and fixed assets because for simplicity, we just list them as assets. And so motor vehicle is $20,000 following the cursor here. Fixtures and fittings, $5,000, those remain. However, there's a new asset, stock or inventory, which is a current asset of $10,000. And then cash at bank is $75,000. And so the balance to the stock of $10,000 would be creditors, which A White is a creditor, of 10,000 because A White credits us $10,000 worth of goods. And so first of all, we total the assets to read $110,000. It was 100,000 first, but this stock coming in makes it $110,000. And so to balance this balance sheet, we must now less the creditors from the total of the assets to get a total of $100,000. So it must now balance with capital of $100,000. So this side being balanced to this side. And so while we continue, these are the basic steps of creating or preparing a balance sheet. Note, these are the simple balance sheet. These are not the detailed ones that most conglomerates and organizations use. We close the presentation tonight. Let us quickly look at some takeaways from this class. First of all,
we need to know what is a balance sheet. A balance sheet is also called the statement of financial position. It shows the financial position of a business entity at a particular time. And additionally, there are two types of balance sheets, the vertical style and the horizontal style. The horizontal style is solely used for teaching or educational purposes so that one can see that the balance sheet must balance having two sides. The vertical style is used globally. Then there, there's the order of permanence and the order of liquidity in how we list the assets in the balance sheet. And so the fixed or non-current assets are listed in the order of permanence and the current assets are listed in the order of liquidity. So thank you very much for joining us in this presentation. Our next topic in the subject principles of accounts is the double entry system of accounts. Remember to like, share and subscribe to this channel, Education Unlimited, as we prepare those on the online platform for this interesting subject called the principles of accounts.